Right, let's take a look at the uh, new controller I got. The new controller has the ability to be set for floating voltage and uh, various other points about it. It's uh, programmed in what they call modes and uh, the mode that they give you is the mode that you buy at the time and this is a street lamp controller 12 volt and uh, the indicator there is the battery voltage and the battery percentage at this point in time uh, it is completely programmable and right now I've got a little bit of wind going on but I've only recently programmed it so it's probably learning what the uh, the wind is like now, this is the wind it's showing 6 volts or 7 volts I'll wait for that to come into focus um, it's not putting any amps in it technically does something after 6 volts but it's up at 8 or 9 amps where it uh, when the uh, the wind is blowing hard where it starts to put some form of uh, voltage or amperage in there and uh, like I said I can run through it's going up again thankfully uh, I can run through the, the system of the controls in it to show you what it actually has. It's not too bad for what it is. It's also got this display system and uh, that's the solar there. It's coming in at 13.7 volts and 1.8 amp. That's after it's so-called rectified. There's two 80 watt panels out there. Uh, the output, the uh, the loads are off. The battery is normal. Right, and that's what you get for that. Now the actual programming side of it, that there is the over discharge voltage of the batteries to detect it. And that's at 10 volts. Recovery is at 10.1 volts in over discharge. Pressing enter, moves that cursor down. It's got plus minus keys on it to adjust the, the actual voltage. Okay. Second one, oops, I've pressed enter. Yeah, this is V3. This is the overcharged voltage, is 15 volts. Uh, the overcharge recovery and putting a uh, charge back into the batteries is at 14.9 float charge has been set at 14.5 volts. Uh, the time for the first load, no hours whatsoever. Uh, at half power, no hours whatsoever. At full power, no hours whatsoever. Because I'm not using a street lamp or any loads or anything on it. The second load output, uh, for no period of any time. Uh, same about its uh, half power, same about its full power, which is 100 watts. At full, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's about 100 watts at full power. Now, this bit's a bit tricky. This is when the load. This, what am I pressing? Yeah. This voltage here is set at 2 volts. When the solar panels reach 2 volts, then this will uh, switch off the lamp if there's you switch off the loads. This is the uh, the voltage at which the turbine starts to look at committing MPPT. For a 12 volt they said it should be set at around 6 volts. There's nothing specific about what they say to do with that but it does make life a bit easier because you can actually program that down to 5 volts. Which would mean you had something like a 10 volt battery but I don't really give you that one but that's where the MPPT starts now I have seen it down as far as 6 volt put in sort of like 0.3 of an amp uh, from time to time when the wind is running hard right. mode A as I said before is the mode at which I acquired this from the factory when I made the order this is made on AliExpress it's uh, aliexpress.com is a sort of postal overseas Chinese site for uh, various things. It's cost about $160, $170. Uh, the main thing is when you use a Visa card, always have about, or at least the prepaid ones, always have $20 extra than the price because there are fees and charges in buying things. 
and uh, you're not a, not actually aware of them. The price is the price from the factories, but then in money exchange rate, and also in terms of uh, more more than anything in terms of the fees for processing, uh, that costs a bit more. Now, like I said, it's in mode A, and you don't touch that because there's no other mode in there. Um, that has to be set by a technician internally. So then you get save, and it's blinking on the Y, which means yes. Press Y, and it's saved. Then it goes back to the battery voltage. Is at 13.2. It's at 6.65 percent capacity of the batteries. And we've got a little bit of uh, amperage. Like I said, you just saw there that that was about six volt. And we dropped a bit of amperage, half an amp. It's yeah, 0.3 of an amp at six and a half. That's the wind turbine, that's the information about the wind turbine. And it's a very interesting process what's occurring there. So over to here to this, uh, at 1.8 it's saying, 